everybody um it is the first weekly vlog that i filmed in this new apartment i think you might have seen a couple of weeks ago i did an empty apartment tour and showed you around before we moved our stuff in but yeah now my stuff is in i had not a lot of sleep last night it was one of those sunday nights where i don't know you go to bed and then all of a sudden your brain starts thinking about all of the things you need to do next week i didn't end up going to sleep till like 3 30 or something so i need a lot of tea today Anyway, this morning I took it kind of easy and um, went for a swim, hence the wet hair, which is really nice. And now I am Pomodoro timering my way through the work day. Is that a word? I'm making it a word. Um, if you haven't heard of the Pomodoro timer, basically it's um, a thing where you work for a 25 minute block, then you have a five minute break, then you have another 25 minute work block, another five minute break, etc. And I use this app called Focus on my watch. So it like buzzes when the timer is up. And it looks like my break is going to be up any second now. So um, I'm going to go back to work. What have we got in store this week? Mostly just a week of work. Um, but also some exciting deliveries are going to be arriving because I bought some new technology. So I'm looking forward to showing you them when they arrive. I can't even tell you how nice it is to walk into a whole different room to eat my lunch. It means that I can like get out some food, sit and read a book for a little bit, and probably gonna sit outside on the balcony and have like more of an actual break from work than, you know, basically spending all of my time in the same room, which is what happened to the last flat. This is going well. <laughs> HelloFresh, which is one of those like meal delivery box services. Lily Pebbles is a UK vlogger that I watch. Um, she had like a sponsorship with them. And I was like, you know what? There's a 50% discount off the first and second boxes that she's offering. I'm sick of trying to decide what to cook. Let's just give it a try. Thursday and I launched a project. This project you've seen glimpses of if you've been watching my vlogs in the past. I'm just so proud that it's live. So this is our I Am A Blogger project. There is nine documentary videos profiling some bloggers and yeah talking about how they got started, how they earn money online. Um, the videos are super high quality and I had to design a website that was like deserving of them you know. So I'm really proud of proud of what I've done. And also this is a place where you can buy that book that I designed. So yay, it's finally live and that feels really good. It's been a week of lots of coding for me. Firstly getting this live, working on some stuff for some evergreen webinars that we're doing. And now I am working on coding some different designs for our homepage. I think I talked about that in a previous video as well. We're like testing some different ideas. But yeah, it's, it's a very code heavy week, that's for sure. I know at the start of this video I was talking about having some exciting deliveries this week and it's not the one I was talking about but I did get another cool package earlier this week. This here, this is a collab that Fortune, which is, if you watch Brett Conti on YouTube, he is someone that I met up with in New York a couple years ago and been following online ever since. He has Fortune, which is like a skate brand. They do boards and they do clothing and they collaborated with Skate Kitchen which is an amazing movie about following the story of like this group of female skaters in New York. Um, I loved it. Went to see it. I think it was like Sundance in London or something it was called but I think it's in cinemas places now so you should go check it out. So this is a collab and it's got like bananas and the fortune bricks on the arm. Super cool and as well completely unnecessary very expensive to have imported over to England, but I also got the skateboard that's part of the collab. So again, it's a skate kitchen, it's got bananas on it, which is like the skate kitchen symbol, I suppose. And the fortune bricks too. So cool, yellow and pink. I wanna hang that up somewhere, somehow, without drilling nails into the wall because we're renting after all. So yeah, really excited to have that and to like 
be supporting the project because I just think yeah, it was really cool and the movie was really good. Anyway, I have made myself some coffee and I'm getting on with work. I need to film a video today. I'm filming a video that you would have seen already by the time this vlog goes out actually, providing everything goes to plan, about converting a Figma design to, um, to Webflow. <laughs> to Friday it's been gosh a hell of a busy week let me just say that a lot of my time has been taken up with hiring stuff because I think I said already in this vlog we're looking to hire a front-end developer so yeah there's been a lot of going through job applications yeah just a lot in general but I've had another exciting package arrive still not the one that I'm really waiting for but this one is something that um, you know what I have been waiting for this for a long time because I've been wanting to buy for myself for ages and haven't. Let me get it out and I'll show you what it is. So this right here is a screen print by Anthony Burrell that I've wanted for ages ever since I first like, I don't know, I think I came across a piece of work of his that says, I like it, what is it? Um, and then yeah, I discovered this one as well, and I just love the saying. I saw him speak at Blogtacular, which was a conference that I also spoke at earlier on this year, and he talked about how this like poster came about, and I just loved the story. He said that he was um, in Clapham, coming out of the Sainsbury's, and I used to live in Clapham, and so I know what Sainsbury's he was talking about, so that was pretty cool. And he said he just overheard someone saying to their friend, like they were waiting to cross the road, and said, you just gotta work hard and be nice to people. And he said he was like passing, so he didn't, you know, hear the rest of the conversation. But just that little piece that he picked up was like, yeah, I, I think I want to make a poster out of that. Um, so this is letter pressed. It's on this beautiful yellow paper that is not, I think, showing up exactly how bright it is on camera because it is like fluoro yellow. But oh, I love it so much. Um, it's got a note about how to frame it. Um, yeah, I need to get it framed, and I'm probably going to hang it on that wall up there. pals this is what I've bought I bought a new Apple watch the whatever series it is for I think they're up to this one that I have is the series one and it's great um, but we have a pool now in this apartment complex and I wanted to be able to track when I go swimming basically so I decided to upgrade my watch um, this one is also a little bit slow because it's like yeah the first version but anyway excited about that that's definitely a treat and then this is the iPhone 10s XS, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure the correct term is 10s. So I know that. Don't yell at me in the comments, Apple people. I got the gold one, and it's pretty beautiful. I'm excited. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember when I bought the iPhone 10 when it first came out last year, and I did like a live stream unboxing it. Uh, and then I sent it back because I felt like the phone was just too big. See right now, if I get it out of my pocket, the phone that I use is a little SE. So, I mean, there is quite a size difference between these two phones. Um, so this one is going to feel a bit too big in my hand, but I've been doing a lot of travel this year. And every single time I'm on a trip, I hate that the camera in my phone is so bad. I know I own several actual cameras, like this one I'm vlogging on, like my DSLR, but the truth is that when I'm out and about on a trip, I don't know, I just don't get them out and take photos. I like taking photos on my phone because then I can just edit them on my phone and post them. It's more fun for me. So essentially, I didn't really buy a phone. I bought a camera, but it just so happens to also be a phone. Ooh, nice color. Um, earlier on this week, the case that I got for it arrived is this dusky pink color because I did really like that it had this rose gold phone. So yes, my phone will still be pink, but it'll just be pink by our case. 
and the edges are gold. I was worried that the gold would be super like garish and shiny, but it's it's almost like a like a, a bronzy gold, like a dirty gold, not not as bright as I thought it was gonna be. I like it, I like it a lot. Anyway, as much as I really wanna get in and like start setting this thing up, um, I've got too much work to do. So I need to get on with that. And I think Mark might help me out setting that up when he gets home, because he actually likes setting up new devices and I find it boring. <laughs> Well, Friday was super busy and I did not make the time to come back to you and report back on the new watch and the phone, etc. So I thought I might as well just vlog this Monday as well. Um, it really, like, I feel like autumn arrived over the weekend in London. It's like a lot colder today for sure. Mark spent Friday evening setting up my phone and my watch for me, which was really nice because it just meant that then he just handed it to me and they were already working and all set up with my stuff. I'm loving them. I especially liked being able to go for a swim with my watch this weekend with like not wearing the leather strap. I don't think that's a good idea in the chlorine. But yeah, that was really fun to be able to track that because I'm trying to fill my activity rings every day. When you work from home, super easy to just never leave the house and barely move at all. And that's obviously not good for you. So um, yeah, trying really hard to actually fill my rings every day. As for the phone, it is huge, like way bigger than my old phone, which has taken some getting used to. It fits in my hand, like I can hold it, but I can't really reach buttons up here very easily with one hand. And even like typing on the keyboard is difficult. So yeah. Gonna take some getting used to, but the camera is worth it, so that is why I'm keeping it. I've got a lot of travel coming up next month, more than originally planned. Was always planning to be away in the first week of October. I'm going to Confront, which is a design conference held in Malmo in Sweden. But also, I'm gonna be going along to Adobe Max, which is really exciting in LA. That was like unplanned, but they reached out and wanted to have me there. So that's really cool. Just attending, I'm not speaking or anything. And then I've also bought a ticket to go to an Epicurrence design leadership event. Epicurrence is a conference, well like an anti-conference I guess, that I spoke at earlier on this year, did a workshop about self-promotion. Um, this time they are hosting a super intimate event focused on design leadership. And so yeah, I'm going to go along to that, should be good. Bunch of really great people going and I'm really excited that Ryan is going. A lot of you might watch his YouTube channel Flux, so yeah, I'm really excited to hang out with him some more there. So, what I'm saying is that long rant is the phone is going to come in handy for taking great travel photos because that was what was really frustrating me about the SE was just not capturing the moment properly. Some of you probably don't actually know that photography used to be my thing. Um, maybe not that you believe it looking at my Instagram, but yeah, uh, when I was in high school I focused probably more on photography than I did design. Um, and I got better grades in photography etc. I just decided to focus on design because it felt like more of a career that I wanted to be in because photography would involve, I don't know, more of working with clients and, and running your own business sort of thing. Oh, we went on a lot of tangents in this clip, didn't we? Anyway, I'm about to make some breakfast. <laughs> some great success with JavaScript um, this morning and I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. So for our new home pages that I'm coding, um, in one of the versions there's this bit up the top of the page once the camera adjusts where the user is asked to pick like what level of experience they have. This is not final copy by the way, just FYI. Um, and once they click it that is when features are revealed that are applicable like mainly to this level of experience right so it's going to be the ones that they're most interested in obviously again this is placeholder but also if I just um oh I'll click another one and show you also these bits here will swap out like the stats that we show will will change depending on what level you click so see here boom different stats um and basically I can make whatever content I want change depending on the level so it means that our customer quote will be someone who is super relatable to people like with this level of experience. Um, and yeah, our call to action as well will change. So for example, if I click to beginner, the call to action for a beginner is our course platform creator pass. So this is what will appear at the bottom there. 
I'm just so happy that I've worked this out. It's pretty cool. I think I've said this before in a vlog too, but I also just really like working at a company where I can show you this stuff during my work day and like as I'm working on it. This isn't launched yet, probably won't be by the time this video goes live. Um, it's like a work in progress, but yet I can share it, which I think is pretty darn cool. We've got our second HelloFresh order here. Update on this, we have decided not to continue with it past our these, uh, first two weeks of 50% off boxes that we had. Basically, like, I mean, it's super handy having all of this come and like not have to think about what to cook. That's really nice. But we didn't feel like the meals were super great quality, like they were very carb heavy and I don't know, also there is so much packaging that just feels like a bit of a waste. So yeah, I think we're going to try out the Mindful Chef one next. On there you can select to have like low carb meals and things or like whatever your dietary requirement is. Uh, and also I really like that, you know this giant cooler bag I think I talked about last Monday. Um, they ask that you send them back to them which is good because I didn't like that even though like the material of this packaging is recycled you still like putting it back in the recycling bin after you use it with HelloFresh and I just feel like surely they should want these back right to reuse them for other people I don't know anyway I don't mean to be like negative about it because I think it is a great service but yes we're just gonna try out some different ones and find the one that is best for us although these meals we got in this bag though do look pretty good so I'm excited about this. Just had yet another Amazon delivery. I should probably title this video Charlie Shops Online Too Much. This time got some uh, picture hanging strips because I'm planning to have this wall here in my office uh, as like a gallery wall I suppose. I think I already talked about this when I opened the print. This is the problem with weekly vlogs when I let them go on too long as I can't remember what I've already talked to the camera about. I end up having to do a lot of editing to cut everything out. I've got these prints down here that I've decided I'm gonna join my Anthony Burrell print on the wall. This one is by uh, my friend Terence. This goes under the brand Tinlun. This one is by Dan Edwards. You've seen it probably before. It used to hang next to my desk. This is one of my prints. Um, and then this one is not gonna go on this gallery wall because I don't think the color fits in, but I'm gonna hang it somewhere else in our house. See, so yeah, I bought frames for a bunch of these. I'm not sure if I should put my play button like as part of the gallery wall or if it should hang just by itself because I was thinking that it could look kind of nice hanging up here, which is kind of like the entrance to my office. I don't know. It's a tad pretentious, I know, but hey, it's an achievement. I'm proud of it. Um, oh, that's right. I've also got this Optimus print by my friend F. Dot hang in the gallery wall. And these two here, um, Moonrise Kingdom, like art prints, I'm gonna hang them in our hallway. Don't know where this one is going, but it's um, the Tommy Haverford food quote basically from Parks and Recreation. So I feel like it belongs in the kitchen. With that, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here before I start repeating myself too much. But I hope you enjoyed seeing my week and all of the many deliveries that came through. Anyway, thank you for watching to the very end of this long vlog. You're awesome, I really appreciate you. Hope you had a good week. What was gonna be my question this week? Mm, I know, I want you to tell me something that you're proud of that happened or that you did or accomplished or whatever this week. It can be big, can be small, whatever you want. Mine is that I figured out that code for the actions that I wanted to happen on the homepage. I was really worried when I designed that that I wasn't actually gonna be able to bring it to life as I imagined and I have. So I'm really proud of that, that's really cool. What's something that you're proud of from your week? Let me know in the comments. All right, hope you have a good week ahead and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.